find one. Good morning, hello again. So we're back at uh, Hayes Farm today. Uh, if you've seen the previous video, I came with the knight and um, father and son, and uh, we had a nice session there, although it was October and it was freezing cold. So it's uh, mid-April at the minute, nice spring time. Leaves are starting to come on the trees, and we've come for a, another session. I'm wagged fishing at the moment with maggot, and firing a few pallets, a little bit of ground baiting. Uh, but I've bought a um, feeder rod for me and things, so I'm in the corner, nice and settled out. And to my right, I've got some nice margins under a tree. And around the other side is Barry Knighton, just to the side of that bush. And Barry Knighton Senior is across on the, on the far bank, He's catching bits on the point peg next to his scarecrow mate. So hopefully we'll have a good day. So I've bought quite a few maggots and stuff today and see what we can catch. But I am fishing quite heavy because there's some big fish in here. So I've got six pound line on. And uh, laying on a little bit at the moment. Been fishing 20 minutes, so I've not had a bite for anything yet. But if this doesn't work, I might uh, lighten up a little bit and go for the small chub and small barbel. Uh, but I've got pellets, corn, paste. Can try all sorts here, really. It's only the second time I fished it, so it's just nice to try somewhere different. But Come in this peg, some out the wind. It's blown, blown absolute holy. I don't think it's a peg that's fished that much. We'll have to see if we can get anything. I think um, the guys got here a bit earlier than me and they've been catching a few roach. So far up to about five or six hours, I think they've been on. I've got two ducks for company at the moment. We'll have a look at the rig in a bit more detail in a bit. I'm going to fire in maggots in regular. So every minute there's fire a few maggots in. Hopefully try and get them up in the water if there's some chub, some big chub in here. If we can get them competing for them. But we'll see. We'll see how the session develops. Right, so one hour in. It's got colder, wind's got stronger. The sun comes out occasionally. A rich shell today, so uh, nothing on the waggler. No bite still on corn or, or maggot, which is unusual. So that's like a middle track line. It's about as far as I can really throw that under these trees. So I've gone out with a little method feeder uh, on the side of the boards at the side of the island. We'll see if we can get any liners or anything, see if there's anything moving at all. There might be nothing in this end of the lake, but we'll see. Um, the guys have had a, a one perch, a few little roach, a one chublet, I think. They've had a few on single maggot. Um, but we'll see. We'll persevere. This is the first put in on this feed of line. So last time I was here, I caught some barbel and a carp close to the island, uh, around the other side. I 
I've just got a pellet on at the moment. Oh, a little twitch there. Mm. Yeah. I can feel it, feel the fish, but it's in something. Yeah, I've cut off some vegetation. No. I see some lily leaves have come up. I can't see it, can't see any lilies at the moment. Apart from the ones I've just chopped off. It felt a good fish as well. It's a standard method feeder. Pellet. Little wafter. So I'm going to level with the back of the island there, just to avoid the, the sunken, hidden snags and that around the island. I'm going to lose that fish. So I've not fished here in the summer before. I can't see where the lily pads are. They're not. They're not come through yet. I think that's why I lost that other fish on the roots of the lily pads. Only a little, only a little fish. Only a small one. But it's a bite. It's a job. Little chub. Freezing cold as chub is. That's like a block of ice. Going back. Got something a bit bigger on. Not massive. Not yeah, it's not massive though. It's it's not a barbel. Might be a bream. Yeah, it's a little carp. Oh, Don't you, baby? In that hole you're on about, Bass. Yeah. There's a little one as well. Hey? Only a very little one. But it's a fish. Well, have a look at him because we're catching so little. There's a lovely little mirror carp. Look at that. It's going to be big when he gets older. <laughs> Let's put him back. Mirror. That's promising. Hope it's picking up. Yeah, Barry's there. Oh, there he's got one on. If you can see him. Is it a rope? Barbel. Right, you can just about see him. He's got a two pound barbel.
<laughs> yeah. It was like a nice fish, not massive, but. Barbel. Didn't hardly fight, really. It's coming like a wet breen, this barbel has. Couple of pounds. <laughs> That's a nice, it's a nice little barbel. Not a baby one. They are, yeah. That long, lean fish. Let's put him back. Look how long this is. It'll be much bigger when he gets older. <laughs> oh, lovely fish. Right, it's 10 to 3, so I've been here fishing for three hours, just over three hours. Chub, barbel, and a mirror, little mirror carp. So very slow. Come back on the waggling out. Still fishing six pound line straight through in case I get any big barbel on and carp. But I've put a 16, a smaller, a small, small, more lightweight hook on. Hopefully that'll produce, see if there's any roach or anything that's come onto the feed. The ducks have been eating all my feed and churning it all at the bottom. Hopefully, I can get a, get a few fish. I've shot it right down there. A bit, of a bit of a change around, got the waggler in front of me. Still haven't had a bite on that yet, but got the feeder a little bit closer in. Like Jenny, probably 10 or 15 metres to my left, in, right in the middle track, to see if we can get anything there. Fishing with two rods, quite comfortable. If the bites start picking up, I'll go back to one rod again. But it's really slow, it's like winter fishing. Barry's got one on. Barry's dad. Is that on the maggot, Baz? Nice. Good barbel, Baz. Yeah. Nice fish. Lovely. Three pound? Yeah, but I think it's a baby. Well, baby on. No, I had a big mark on his nose there, Kevin. Like a, a growth on the nose. Turn it around, let's have a look at him. I don't know that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very lean fish, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely. Bad one. one. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Not monster, but not bad. Yeah.
It was like my biggest of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Not seen it yet. No. A bauble, I think. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, just about goes in. Lovely. Let it rest a second. That's a good one. Better one. Hey, that's, that's a bit bigger than I thought it was actually. Need a bit of a rest and we'll have a look at him. We'll have a look at him. Let a good rest. What well, absolutely beautiful fish that is. So it's stunning. Let's turn him around, have a quick look the other side, and we'll put him back. Not a mark on it, it looks really lovely condition. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Getting pulled back. This is why I like this because it's, it's good, isn't it? That is. You them, it? At the end of the day, you got to look after them, haven't you? Yeah. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, so we've just been fishing for over four hours now. One carp, two barbel, and a little chublet. So it's been hard going, but nice to get that big quality fish though. So I'm going to carry on for a bit longer, fish towards the evening and see if they come on feed later on. Hopefully this wind will drop off. So I've cast straight out to the point of the island, but a little bit shorter that I'm just weary about snags and lily pads after losing that fish earlier. So I've another another half an hour on the waggle line. Who bites? It's hard going. Both berries are still catching a few bits, roach and uh, chublets. The berries had a couple of little um, Baby barbel. And Barry in the corners had a couple of perch. The chublet. Chublet. Nice little chublet, but could really do with mum and dad.
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, done. Right, it's been about six hours now, Sunday afternoon. It's been a lovely afternoon fishing. Not caught great quantities of fish, but we've had some nice quality ones. Uh, but I think we'll have one or two more last casts and then we'll get packed away. But what we had, it's been, I mean, it's been cold, easterly breeze, it's been absolutely freezing, bitter. It's felt like a winter's day. It still does now, it feels a bit cold. So the fish haven't fed uh, prolifically, but we've had one or two nice fish in a good session. But we'll get, uh, hopefully get one or two more fish on the last couple of casts. If not, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll speak again soon. Bye for now. Nearly. Lovely. Oh, a bit bigger than a little one. Yeah. Hey? Nice yeah, get that one. A nice one. My biggest chub of the day. Yeah. We'll have one more last cast. Yeah. It's got a barbel written all over it, that cast. Sad one. Yeah. Very lean fish, aren't they? Yeah. What absolutely beautiful fish that is. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning.